Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an animal info video and I couldn't really decide what to do it on. I have the tropical house gecko and the Cuban tree frog up there, but what I really want to do is I, I want to work with them more, um, kind of get them into a normal feeding schedule and a proper enclosure, and then I'll probably do a video, um, start doing videos on them. But for now, uh, I think I'm going to do the giant cyan cyan isopods I grow a ton of these and they're really the only other thing that I own that I could do a video on but I mean I take care of them and I breed them really well so I figured why not so today I'll be talking about the what to feed giant cyan isopods okay real quick I say it wrong in this whole video it's canyon isopods giant canyon isopods I always forget First I thought it was cyan, or no, then first I thought it was crayon, and then I thought it was cyan, 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 that's how you say it. I'm an idiot, I can't, first of all I didn't remember, and second of all I couldn't, re I can't read. Um, pretty much it, so, it's canyon isopods, uh, you can get them at glass box tropics or something, that's where I got mine, it, you don't have to. Uh, that's just where I got mine. Super expensive. I don't know why, they're just bugs, but whatever. Enjoy the video. I have these guys in two to four of my terrariums. Two of them I've seeded, but I'm not really sure if they're really, uh, if they've really taken off yet. But I definitely will make sure when I redo my gecko's cage that it will be full of isopods. So this is my iguana's enclosure. You can see him up there by the UVB light and the heat light. And he's, he's kind of mad at me because last time when I held him, he was kind of still really warm when I got him out. And he scratched me up because he kind of tried to run away. So, um, anyway, this is his bioactive enclosure that has isopods in here, possibly mealworms. Like, it's, I have no idea. Like, there could be, uh, dark, or, yeah, there could be, like, beetles and stuff in here. I don't know. Um. But the only thing that I've added are darkling beetles and isopods. And there's springtails, I know. And there might be like soil mites or uh, grain mites because I keep doobie roaches. And the doobie roaches, um, I keep them on oats. And sometimes oats has grain mites, which, you know, don't hurt anything. So, um, talking about food. So here's what I feed them. In up here in this terrarium here i don't technically really feed them anything at all you see whenever any leaves so i have a lot of plants in my room so i have all that terrarium's just plants it's a grow out tank i have this i have all of these all the way up there and all of the stuff in here so anything that's out of and also the pothos plants in here anything that's out of the terrariums that dies i take out and, or like anything, like one of these leaves. Let's see if I can find one. Is there one that's, uh, no, I can't at the moment. Any, if they die, then I just set them in here in this little area. And I assume that the isopods eat that. I don't, I'm not like positive, but that is, that makes sense to me because they decompose just fine. And what they'd also eat in my mind is like wood. I always have wood in the soil uh like i stick wood into the soil in my terrariums like this piece and stuff and they always hang out on that so i'm sure that helps as well because again i don't feed i don't put any like lettuce or anything in this tank and there's tons of isopods everywhere uh you just gotta kind of dig into the soil and then also i have leaves since it is a terrarium i have leaves as well now another thing that i feed them uh now this is because just the terrariums that they're in is in my gecko's cage, they can eat. There's the gecko right there. And there's actually a mushroom coming up, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how those get around. They just happen to come up every once in a while. They will also eat the gecko's food. So I've taken the gecko's food and since there's so many in this tank, I've put the gecko's food in here, like once it's old and they'll eat that. And that is Pangea gecko diet. And they also, in here, they mainly eat uh, the iguana's food. 
Now, this is where they're probably going to be hanging out. So this is lettuce and carrots. So there's not any on that. And when it molds or whatever, which I just leave it in here because the iguana knows what's what. You know, he won't eat food once it's rotten. But the isopods will. So there you can see here. I'll try to make the camera rest right like that. And lift up some of the stuff. And you'll get to see the baby... There's a baby isopod there. And the more stuff I lift up, you should be able to find them at some point here. You can see, you just saw one go under this leaf and some, uh, there it is. You can see it there, just ran away. And there's some, I'm trying to find one that's decent size. Oh, here we go, right here. Ugh, that can get on my hand. So feeding's really simple. They basically eat decomposing stuff. So any leaves or anything of the plants that you can see. Now these aren't giant ones. Um, I mean, these are giant cyan isopods, but these aren't, you know, like, they're not literally giant. These ones aren't um, the ones I'm showing you. Now there is, also they might eat this. This is like a guana shed. I'll just leave this in there. Um, they'll probably eat it. They don't, what was I saying? Oh, I don't really know where any of the big ones really are, to be honest. Um, I don't, I just, I don't know. Like, I know there's babies, so they're obviously breeding. And when I bought them, they were huge. So every once in a while, I'll see a really big one. And that's basically it. Um, I really don't see them very often. I see them more in my 10 gallon terrarium which I just showed you a second ago because it's up higher and I can really look at the soil a lot easier. But they'll just be up here in the leaves or whatever. Here, right, there might be some under here. I would think so, but who knows. There's none on this. Yeah, there might be some, but down there. They like moist environments and that's just what these terrariums are. They're all very moist. I don't keep any, um, like desert species of animals. I always have tropical terrariums. So that's what I keep them in. And that's what they eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.